The ring-neck pheasant is South Dakota state bird, making the Rushmore State a destination for thousands of hunters each year. But did you know that the world's largest pheasant is also stationed in South Dakota? In tonight's Eye on Kelloland, Sarah McDonald takes you to Huron and explains the history behind the big bird. This giant bird has roosted on top of this building along Highway 14 in Huron for 60 years. Since 1959, the pheasant has been welcoming visitors to Huron. The pheasant was dedicated October 15, 1959, and it was an idea of the Huron JCs to bring people in. At that time, the world's largest anything was a big deal. And when they put it up at the location it is now, that was a premier um, location for convention and events. It was like state-of-the-art motel that was in that area and recreation center. Built out of steel and fiberglass, the pheasant took a little over four months to build. The gentleman's name that built it was R.F. Jacobs. He was out of Gooding, Idaho. And with him, um, here in welding, which um, they helped to weld the interior structure. So how big is the world's largest pheasant? It's 40 feet long, 28 feet tall, and weighs 22 tons. Over the years, the pheasant has had to withstand South Dakota weather. Back in July, it was repainted and touched up. In 2011, the bird got a bit of a makeover, followed by a rededication. There was a pheasant restoration committee that got together, and so it was completely restored, and there was a new dedication ceremony that happened in October of 2011. Um, so they did a major rehaul of it. As far as structural-wise, with the I-beams, those type of things, nothing has had to be changed there. Um, but it's just the exterior of the shell, and with it being 60 years old, it is, um, you know, getting a little thin. That fiberglass material, it doesn't last forever. The Dakota Inn neighbors the world's largest pheasant. Hotel manager Tiffany Holling says she sees people stop at the attraction quite a bit. We see a lot of traffic come and go. We do get to see a lot of people over there. The kids get a real big hit about taking pictures over there. Um, I see a lot of them try and do the, put the pheasant on the hands. But we do get a lot of people that do stop over there to take the pictures. While the bird has been at this location for over half a century, there's a possibility that could change. The current building it sits on, which is privately owned, is for sale. The city does have a lease agreement with the pheasant, but that expires in 2020. With the building being for sale, if somebody was to buy it, we do as the Chamber and Visitors Bureau have a right of first refusal, which means if somebody makes an offer, we can make an offer as well. And, you know, if ours, ex you know, and try and exceed that offer, if that was the case. Until then, we have the lease to maintain it. Shelton says they've considered moving the ringneck from its roost to a different nesting spot. We have had engineers that have looked at it, and even though the I-beams have withstood all of our great South Dakota weather that we've had, they don't know that the shell of the pheasant can withstand a move, even if it was just a short distance. Um, so it really all depends on if it sells and what happens next year. Even with the uncertainty of the pheasant's future, Shelton says it's an icon in Huron. Just like most eastern part of South Dakota, Huron is known for its pheasants in our area, so we attract hunters from all over the country. We host a ringneck festival in um, November of each year, bringing in hunters from all over. So that is why it was put up there, and that is why we continue to use it as just a talking point for our community. With Eye on Killaland, I'm Sarah McDonald. It's Mr. Bendel all over again, yes, isn't it? a little bigger. <laughs> Shelton says last year they put out a survey to the community about the pheasant, and she says that the overwhelming response is that people don't want Huron to lose that iconic bird.